a new mega image showing the leftovers of one of the closest supernova explosions to Earth has now been made available to the larger public, showing incredible detail and color in the Vela supernova remnant, the leftovers of a star that violently exploded 11,000 years ago. This image consists of 554 million pixels. It comes from the VLT Survey Telescope in Chile. At 800 light years away, the Vela supernova remnant is one of the closest to the solar system. It is in the southern constellation of Vela, the snails. Image is about the same size in the night sky as nine full moons. A supernova is a colossal explosion of a star. Scientists have identified several types of supernova. One type, called a core collapse supernova, occurs in the last stage of the life of massive stars that are at least eight times larger than our Sun. As these stars burn the fuel in their cores, they produce heat. This heat produces pressure that pushes outward against the forces of gravity that pull inward on the star. For most of the life of a star, inward gravity and outward pressure are in balance and the star is stable. But as a star burns through its fuel and begins to cool, the outer forces of pressure gradually drop. When the pressure drops low enough in a massive star, gravity suddenly takes over and the star collapses in just seconds. This collapse produces the powerful explosion that we call a supernova. Supernovas are so powerful that they create new atomic nuclei. As a massive star collapses, it produces a shock wave that can induce fusion reactions in the star's outer shell. These fusion reactions create new atomic nuclei in a process called nucleosynthesis. These spectacular events can be so bright that they outshine their entire galaxies for a few days or even sometimes months. They can be seen across the universe. Supernovas are not very common. Astronomers believe that about two or three supernovas occur each century in galaxies like our own Milky Way. Because the universe contains so many galaxies, astronomers observe a few hundred supernovas per year outside our galaxy. Base dust blocks our view of most of the supernovas within the Milky Way. Scientists have learned a lot about the universe by studying supernovas. They use the second type of supernova, the kind that involves white dwarfs, like a ruler, to measure distances in space. They have also learned that stars are the universe's factories. Stars generate the chemical elements needed to make to pretty much everything in our universe. At their cores, stars convert simple elements such as hydrogen into heavier, more complex elements. These heavier elements, such as carbon and nitrogen, are the elements that are necessary for life. Only massive stars can make heavy elements, such as gold, silver, and uranium. When explosive supernovas happen, stars distribute both stored up as well as newly created elements throughout space. Supernovas are considered one of the original sources of the elements heavier than iron in the universe. Even the iron in our blood can be traced back to supernova or similarly cosmic explosions from long before our sun had formed. Supernovas are thus essential to life. A bright red supergiant star in our galaxy that's near the end of its life. Betelgeuse is a star that is very likely to explode as a supernova and be visible in the daytime sometime in the next 100,000 years. A supernova has not been seen in our galaxy since the 17th century. Thank you so much for being here till the end.